Hello. <laughs> Welcome back to the Ray and Kristen actual play show in which we kill time until Sean gets back. <laughs> oh my God. You're so good at this, Kristen. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> it feels like when the crit in parts, I'm like, we're missing Romeo in the scene with the Romeo and Juliet. That is okay. <laughs> Juliet no longer needs Romeo. We are going to write She's an a new ending woman. to this play. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> welcome back no. to actual play. No worries, we said welcome. We back already did you. that. Oh, you did, right? <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> no worries, no worries. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. All I thought I time. I thought my timing was good. It was close. But... It was really close. No, it was perfect. It was perfect. Like yeah. when you when you go back and watch the video, Kristen was like perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so. Right. What do we do? We see Cherry Blossom, like looking at the two of you, telling you to go, right? Yeah. She is holding back the timekeeper for now. And the timekeeper is just moving like a machine, very methodical, right? Okay. Like compared to Ankh's like impassioned, like, you know, attack in Athea, like this is cold and calculating, right? Like mm -hmm. it is going for every weak spot of, mm -hmm. of Cherry Blossom. And Cherry Blossom is just you can feel the magic just coming off of her in waves, right? It is pure vengeance and spite that is holding her together. Mm -hmm. And the ancient power of the Dimmer Sisters. So what do we do? Yeah. I think Penance picks up little Ankh and goes. Unless little Ankh is going to resist. Of course. Okay. I don't see why she would. I think she's like bobbing and weaving. Like she's the cherry blossom. Like, like, when the sword comes out and Jerry Blossom is just like taking it and like getting chopped apart and reforming, she's like, dodge, dodge, up, down, left, right, A, B. <laughs> um, but she's not, yeah, I think if you grab her, she goes, what? And, and um, yeah, you can easily Kay. carry her. We're going to flee. Yeah, that makes sense, right? And so as... Um, so Ankh, ooh, this is going to be a little harder without Cherry Blossom to translate for you, but Ankh, you know the way out, right? Um, penance not as clearly, right? Okay. So, so Ankh, you're going to have to find a way to make sure, right, that, that Penance knows where to go, yeah. unless, unless, you know, you want Penance to just figure it out on her own, which is also <laughs> totally doable, um, totally a thing. Well, no, no, that's fine, but I do think Ankh pauses for a moment, like she looks at what's happening. And you're like, we got to go. And you take off. And like, Ankh stays there for a second, you know, goes sword in her hand and kind of looks. And I think she's, I think there's a part of her that like wants to stay behind because she wants to penance to know what her happened to her. Like in the one hand, she's super protective of like, get away, Athea, because you're like the bad girlfriend. Mm -hmm. You cause penance, nothing but trouble. But also she's like, I know this is penance's past. And it's like part of it, but you left. So it's not my past. Like, it's not my place to go figure out what the hell is up with the timekeeper. So she sort of studies for a second. She's like, no, okay. And then comes chasing after. Um, and just to be kind of, Kristen, please tell me if this is okay with you. Yeah. Um, I'm going to spend one more stress. Oh my God, I do not have stress to do this. Um, I'm one away from trauma. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> and I'm going to use um, Bound of Darkness again. But in this case, there's so much of Ankh that has sort of like been like pulled into the spirit realm that like mm -hmm. she can't articulate verbally. So you just feel these vibrations and they just sort of feel like a soft, I wouldn't say caress, but a soft like guidance on your hand. Like, oh, it's this way. Oh, it's that way. Oh, it's this way. And I think I'm just sort of guiding you. Okay. You know, like the way someone would teach another person how to play pool kind of guiding. Like there's. <laughs> it's just yeah. like, oh my God, it's like in a that... ghost moment. The one where Patrick Swayze is like holding her hands in this really intimate fashion. Or how guide. one might make pottery <laughs> together. How one might make pottery together. If just that's like okay that. with you. Just if like that's that. okay with you. I realize like it's a little intimate. 
Yeah, I, I like mean, the because the, the the playing pool it kind of has like skeezy overtures of it of like unwanted attention. I I don't know if it's unwanted attention. I hope it's no, not. no, no, no. But um, but yeah. ghost pottery feels accurate. Ghost, ghost pottery. pottery is. It's, it's, ghost it's a great vibe. It's a great Mold, vibe. Yeah. I'm going to be so sad if people here. are watching this and I'm like, what are they talking about? These old people. <laughs> yeah, no, I ran away. It's an amazing movie. The film Ghost. It. Patrick Swayze. Go back. <laughs> as soon as it's done, we'll please over. go back and find Ghost. <laughs> No, seriously, I ran a game where someone was making the exact character of Whoopi Goldberg from Ghost, but he had never watched. They had never watched. Like, Ghost and they didn't notice a movie that existed. And I was like, what? what, what, what? I, it's, I say, it's Molly, classic. you and Danger Girl to this day. <laughs> it came out in 1990. Let's stop. I can't. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was like, how can they not know? And then I looked up when it came out. Okay, fine. I stand corrected. It yes. was a long time ago. <laughs> to, the, to the older generation of TikTok, like the people born in the 90s. Now I'm sad. <laughs> sorry, sorry. That no, 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 no. I've okay. heard so many times. As we, as, we, as we step back from the sense of our mortality. Yes. Um, okay. So, uh, Anki, we're leading penance through, through the catacombs. Uh, I think... Ooh... <laughs> yeah, I think what happens is, oh, I don't think there's resistance in you leaving, actually. Um, what happens instead is, like, we cut back to to what's going on between the Timekeeper and Cherry Blossom. And there's a moment when it looks like Cherry Blossom is actually going to, like, win this fight. We see that she has pulled on into all of the magic, all of the knowledge from the Dimmer Sisters has grown bigger and stronger and is about to, like, overwhelm the timekeeper when all of a sudden like we hear like this click of a sound and then there's this gun that's held to Jerry Blossom's temple and then there's just a shattering sound and the place is just filled with petals just completely drowning the mausoleums. An explosion of Jerry Blossoms. Yep, yep, exactly. And so as we cut back to now the three of you, right? Um, that's when baby Ankh sees like the most ugly squirrel just like crawling across the walls. Like it mm -hmm. looks like it's about to drop into the water and drown, right? And it has like three mouths, one at its back. And it says, Psst, hey, you. Yeah. She 100%. She 100%. Is Penance holding her hand? I was carried. Well, I can be holding her hand now once we got out of like immediate mm -hmm. danger. Yeah. That's so, good. ever walk your dog and you're walking along, walking along, and suddenly your arm gets ripped off because your dog just stops as you're walking and you yeah. didn't expect? Like, that's what happens to Penance. Like, yeah. she's walking along, walking along, and suddenly it's not like Ankh lets go of her hand. Ankh's still holding on, but she just stops to look at this thing and you're like, yeah. Surprised at the heft of the small child because <laughs> I mean, she's just staring. She's like, Cherry Blossom said that a, a, a many mouthed squirrel would come, would come to visit me. She looks down at it real close. You're hideous. Yes, thank you. I worked hard on it. Oh. And like, and when it speaks, it's three different voices that like are slightly out of sync with each other. And then one of the mouse just keeps like licking its teeth, like you know this weird sound of like, you know. Unc, we don't um, we don't have time for this. Just get your new pet and let's let's go. Yes, carry me, <laughs> carry me. Put me in your pocket. Oh, I got all kinds of pockets. They're so huge. I got pockets for days. I don't know why I have so many pockets. All this super baggy clothes. I'm like, hop in here. It's like into a fold of a scarf of a something. Is that a sugar? Is that a, is that a, I smell sugar. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Uh, is there a, stick? And she's like fighting it. No, give me, give me. Ah, no, give me my sugar. <laughs> Not real. And it gets like a little bit, breaks off and falls down in the crevice. And then you see the square like start to inhale. Like, ah. Like it doesn't know how to eat. It has three mouths, but it doesn't eat with them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, adorable. Uh, do we make it out? So I do think um, there has to be one role just 
and this is not to see if you make it out. So you don't have to do this role if you don't want to. You, you don't have to. Um, but it's to make sure that the Lord of the Depths does not make their way in. Oh. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Um, but on, as I say this, though, there's a part of you that's like, this is too easy. Why can we just like walk out of here? after disrupting this ritual like it's silent you don't hear the screams anymore yeah like the ritual there should have been a more catastrophic cascade mm -hmm. in response to the ritual suddenly being broken but it's all just blessed silence yep yep well onk has a cultist you know the secret ways to consort with ancient powers forgotten gods and demons like i can just as far as i I mean, it's not that you can say it's trivially easy. I'm happy to do the action roll or do whatever steps I need to do. But I think if the Lord of the Depths is like in there, um, we get another one of these like, you know, you're like, okay, okay, you got this, you got the hideous squirrel. Let's go. And then just sense you just because I don't have any more stress to talk to you anymore. So you just right. feel a chill on the back of your. You just feel a, a coldness as Ankh walks walks through you. Yeah. Um, and turns around and and she says, um, uh, Lord of the Depths, we are bound by a contract that we have that we have fulfilled. Um, I do. I, I um, this this uh, these these souls are not your playthings nor your food. Come back with us. Um, do not do not linger here in this mm -hmm. in this in this unhallowed home. And I and also I, want him to come back with us. Yeah. And uh, when I, you say that... Oh, sorry, go ahead. No. You so when you say that, you hear the Lord of the Depth say, but my dear Ankh, contract as you may have, that is a contract that is bound between me and all of you, and all of you is not here. So that's why we're going to have to make it a roll to see if the, the Lord of the Depths is still going to... Respect the contract, even if you are, because you are still very notably mostly a six year old. Yeah, and Ghost Me is like kind of torn, it's kind of shredded as well. I think it's even fair to say that not all of Ghost Me is here. There's like right. one half of me as a, I'm like three quarters of me at most, mm -hmm. even if we combine Ghost Me and Baby Me. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Baby You makes up like one fourth. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna say it's risky, but great because of your your contract ability. So cool. So I think my only option is to consort. Uh, I think that the um, you know the secret ways to consort with ancient powers. I think that C is a capital C intending. There's not many times when the rules say you can only use one action, but I think the point is like you can't command. You can't command a god. Like that's just not in the purview of mortals, right? And and so I I think what I have to be doing here is is consorting. Does that sound right to you? Okay, risky, great, risky, great. Should be no problem. Mhm. Mm you got it. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Yep. No problem. I should not have said you got, I should not have said that. Yeah, I know. I was thinking I'm so sorry. <laughs> I normally don't. I normally don't do that. Okay. Okay. So you can resist this if you like. Mm -hmm. I say knowing everybody is close to traumaing out, but I feel like I have to say it. Um, the first consequence is to tick your your lovely clock. Um, you you are further pulled into what lies beyond the ghost field. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Right, and then uh, you see the Lord of Depths like fully, like from underneath the water. Like usually, it's only been the one eye, but now you see both eyes open mm -hmm. up. The black eye and the golden eye. Yeah, yeah, and you just you just hear this like low rumble of a of a laugh in response and the lord of depth says oh my dear ankh you say one thing with one mouth and yet 
I see you're asking me to do another. And as they say that we see the golden horn start to grow, like as Ankh starts to fade and have a whole time holding on, that other part of you, that other Ankh with the, with the golden horns attached to the golden one starts to become stronger and your mouth moves without you controlling it. And you hear yourself say, it is true, the Lord of the depths, go forth and make yourself more powerful so that you may serve me one day. Nice. Cool. How many ticks on that clock? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I feel like I have to say it's two, right? Like, that would I feel like this, yeah. this is the moment, oh, right? Yeah. Oh. Right? right? I feel like, you know, I feel like you are pulled in, but this golden horn demonic version of you has fully taken control. Does that make sense? How do you mm -hmm. feel about that? You can resist this. You can. It's I'm not resisting things. the second one. Golden horn, fully demonic onk, definitely takes control for a moment and says these things. Absolutely. Um, but I will resist being having all of me completely pulled into whatever lies beyond the, the ghost field. So I think that's probably resolved. Yeah. Cool. That's just. Is there any way to assist with the? Even if there was, it would trauma you out. So. Yeah. <laughs> but you're gonna trauma out. I got this. I got this. Mm -hmm. I can offer you. There you go. <laughs> what do we have? What do we have? All right, we got a five. So okay. I, be okay. I believe that I I can't remember if you. Oh 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 oh! Let's look at it. Let's I can never it. remember because if if you can take if you up can to your do. stress. Yeah. See, this is why Before the pocket is I just made it when you fill it. That's it. Anyway, anyway. I anyway, know. It so. changes from different forge sets to different forge sets. So I, I, I take know. exactly one stress. And yeah, I don't let remember me if it's real quick. If I go past that. Resistance. Or I... Roll. Okay. Let's see. I like how it says resistance hardcore. Okay. <laughs> Two, three, one. Da, da, da. Mm -hmm. Uh, ah, wait, wait, wait. This is tweaking. No, no, no. I don't want to tweak. I just want the rules. Let's see. Roll 7 11. Thank you for looking this up, it's right? Not, yeah, it's not a TTRPG unless we look up the Absolutely. thing real quick, right? Yeah. Okay, let's see. So. Mm. Uh, no, it's under trauma. When your PC marks their last Drex box, they suffer a level of trauma. When you take oh. trauma, circle one of your trauma conditions. Oh, yeah. There it is. There it is. I mean, it makes sense. Like, in order to not completely get pulled away, I had to give up some part of myself. Um, it's true. Oh, <gasps> traumatic. Oh, traumatic. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, Ooh, which one? Oh, this is... I mean, I feel like <sighs> I'm torn between haunted and obsessed and paranoid. And they all center around this demonic version of Ankh. Either Ooh. that, that, that version keeps reappearing to me. I keep seeing mm -hmm. that version in mirrors and things like that. And it just keeps hovering over me which I think makes the most sense. Obsessed could be like, I will refuse to ever let that, that version of me surface again. And I'm constantly, and then, and paranoid. And like, I'm going to, I'm going to change that and make that never possible. And then paranoid would be, I keep worrying that that version of me is mm -hmm. you know, like the werewolf who wakes up in the morning and doesn't know what they did. Ooh, um, we're ooh. Also good. I'm kind of torn between paranoid and haunted. I don't really Same. want obsessed. I don't want to sit there and be like, no, because mm -hmm. Um, that doesn't feel very onkish either. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, which one's more fun? I feel like oh, both are good. Both are good. But I'm but I'm leaning towards haunted because you give me another NPC and I will always be happy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> NPC pinata that I am. Yeah. I like you you like that, Kristen? Uh huh. Um, okay. Here we go. Haunted. Hey, stress is cleared. Woo. Um, but. I mean, I think 
we just see um, in in classic cliffhanger sort of motion, like we see, you know, horned demon horned onk say these things. Lord, I failed the role. Lord Depths does goes off and does his horrible stuff. And when the camera like cuts back, like baby onk is just like, huh, where'd she go? And we look at the ghost field like onk is dissipated is not there right i mean she's mm-hmm. she'll, she'll come back right but like i'm trauma out right so i'm mm-hmm. i think i think or or maybe the camera lingers for a really long time and then we just see like like, like the, ha- the haziest of flickering of, mm-hmm. of, you know there's just some i mean three three quarters of the she's three quarters gone anyways as well so yeah uh yeah, and I think like when that happens, the the real cliffhanger is like penance. You can still feel that something went wrong, and you can feel that Ankh isn't there anymore. And you and you hear like baby Ankh respond in that way, and you hear a voice off to the side that said, "What happened to my girlfriend?" And you see it's like Kiara Hakor, the the spirit warden, standing there, like. Oh, shit. And, you know, she's in, like, her off-duty outfit, right? She's not she's not wearing the Spirit Warden bronze mask or anything like that. But you can tell, like, she's been through it. Like, she's obviously been through some sort of, like, like prolonged skirmish. Like, you can see, like a, like, a slash of a wound there. And she walks up to you and she says, I got a message from Oridon and where's Ankh? And baby Ankh goes kiki and punches her in the leg and says catch and throws the, the spirit jar of <laughs> at her and i think like kiara just grabs it without thinking and recognizes you and it's like and like before she can say anything i think that's where the episode ends oh my right? god sorry <laughs> i just had to like, I'm like we're childhood friends and i don't know how yeah Baby Ankh recognizes adult Kiara. I don't know. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Oh, it's perfect. It Ch- children, children have that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think she, well, did, yeah. I think she might have say like, "Look what we found" when she throws it or something like that. Oh, perfect, perfect. But yeah, give a spirit ward, give a spirit warden the spirit bottle with the almost cracking spirit bottle. Um. So we do. Let's XP? do. Yeah, should we let's do the um the thingy thingies. The thingy not thingy? the not the downtime, but the um XP XP? Not the XP either. The oh. um <laughs> the heat? The heat. Oh right. <laughs> like heat Sorry. and payoff? Yes, yes, yeah, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, we should do that because otherwise it's that way you can have you can know entanglements and all that stuff. That's right. That is correct. Okay. That is correct. So let's do I'm just clicking through payoff. Um, let's see. We get- so you earn two rep by default. Mm-hmm. Um, definitely a higher tier. Mm-hmm. Like Lady Arabella. Did we, we established what? I mean, Skrillex tier- like is tier three all on his own. Yeah, but yeah. I feel like Lady Arabella is probably similar. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, um, that's. I really wish I could have both of these up at the same time. So that's <laughs> Rusted Lock. It's three rep. And that puts us up one, two, three. It's exactly how much we need to go from oh, nice. um, tier. Oh, that should have been. Sorry. It's exactly what we need to go from tier two weak to tier two strong. Mm-hmm, so um, assuming we don't spend any rep in downtime. Uh, yeah. Well, I'll just clear it. Uh, yeah, that that's enough to get us get us strong. Okay, um, cool. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, coin. Yeah. So in terms of coin, I feel like it makes sense. Even if you didn't go in to get stuff, there was a lot of knowledge, right, that you could use to your advantage. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like it should. I feel like at the very least you can go to the Dimmer Sisters and tell them what happened, right? Well, and I think Skrillex was sponsoring us on this as well. Oh yeah, that's true. Skrillex was paying us to. That is absolutely correct. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. So I would think it has to be six coin, like at the very least. But you know, yeah. with the with the information from the Dimmer Sisters and the and you returning Skurlock to Skurlock, <laughs> assuming that's not. what happens. I think yeah. so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I think Aww. it's going to be eight, eight coin. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I was going to say we didn't pull much out of it, but having the old Skurlock. Yeah. So, exactly. That's super, um, super, yeah, so yeah, Penance, why don't you take four and I'll take four? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll, I'll add it to your sheet. Oh, thank cool. you. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Heat. Yeah. Uh, it did happen in the catacombs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I think this time it wasn't. I think it was contained, right? Like it wasn't, yeah. it wasn't that we made to make any noise, but we didn't make any noise where anyone was around. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, there was noise in the ghost field, but that was already happening yeah. before you got there, right? And then did plus, your girlfriend did stuff yourself. Yeah, you know. that's yeah. self-titled girlfriend did stuff to help. The bomb does add one. That was the yeah. um, that was yeah. one of the drawbacks. Mm -hmm. was, was I don't think Lady Arabella is a high connected or or a, a high a high profile, well connected target. She just came back to Dustfall, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She doesn't have mm -hmm. like a sense of contacts. Mm -hmm. We weren't on hostile turf, um, mm -mm. and we didn't kill anybody. Yeah, I think everyone was already dead. Well, um, close enough. <laughs> we didn't set off the cream of the the bells, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Awesome. Okay, cool. So that gives us yeah. Three, what happens to these people does not set off the bells. Three okay. heat, which we're okay with because we only had one. So we're yeah, okay. so no, no, no big deal. Doable. Doable. Yeah. And then, do you want to roll entanglements? Yeah. So, what are we at? What's our our wanted level? I think is two. My goodness. Yeah, our wanted level is two, and our heat is four. <laughs> okay. Let me go to entanglements. So I roll two dice. Let me do that now. I'm going to go to the character sheet and roll a fortune roll. Two, two, two of two. Okay. We have a four and a one. So I take the four. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I know which one of these you're going to go with. What are the options again? Oh my gosh. Reprisals or unquiet dead? Ooh. Reprisals are an enemy faction, makes them a minor hand. She's just unquiet dead. A rogue spirit is drawn to you. Perhaps it's past victim. To acquire the services of Whisper or Railjack to attempt to destroy, banish it, or deal with it yourself. I mean. <laughs> or there could be reprisals. An enemy faction makes a move against you. A I mean. I mean. Pay them one rep or coin per tier of the enemy as an apology. Or fight back to show them his boss. I feel like it has to be on Quiet Dead, right? We know, we know who that is. <laughs> like, it's a very. I feel like it has to be on Quiet Dead. Yeah. 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 It's a very specific person. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. So basically, away. <laughs> I think Athea takes advantage of the fact that you disappear for a moment. Mm -hmm. Right. That's yeah. that's that's all she needs. Right. Yeah. 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 So yeah, we, see the, I, we see the pokeball, the the grenade rattle. <laughs> Right, and I and the uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we'll we'll play it out exactly what it looks like later when we deal with this entanglement. But cool. perfect. But penance, uh, you are once again attached to someone. I try, I try so hard. Oh. All right. Well, speaking of penance, let's do your XPs, right? <laughs> do you want to do XP next to wrap up? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, All sounds right. good. Okay. XP, and then we'll do downtime next time. I think mm -hmm. so. I think so. That sounds I think good. That's that's our energy. That's my energy level right now. Is to yeah. Just, just do the just do the, the just bits. XP. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Um. So you address a challenge with technical skill or mayhem. Yes. Twice. Bombs and you know. And door. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, clearly, I have a similar energy level because there were no words. There was this. I talk like that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you expressed your beliefs, drives, heritage, or background. Oh yeah, a yeah. lot of your background. A lot you of saw background a lot of those delicious up. memories. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then that, for that. Yeah. that influenced how she spoke to Ankh and mm -hmm. made decisions. 
Mm -hmm. Um, So that's going to fill it. But then you struggle with issues from your vice or traumas. Normally I say no to this. I just, I think I'm still going to say no because uh, Penance didn't deal with Athea. Ankh did. And Athea or um, Penance is obsessed with a lot of things, but mostly with Athea. Mm -hmm. Or obsessions that came from that time, right? Like the repercussions that came from being possessed. But I really think Ankh dealt with Athea, not so much Penance. So I think I'm good. You guys are awesome. Perfect. I might. I'm, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm. I'm. I'm always trying to push. Push ways in which. Uh, no. Are... I, no. 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 Me too. Like I love XP and having but, everyone have it, but yeah. it, feel, it really does feel narratively like Ankh stepped yeah. in and took care of it. Yeah. But it says I it struggled it. with issues. It doesn't necessarily mean you addressed it. Right. Right. That, that's so, what I'm thinking. Is like how, I know we didn't see it on screen, but if we retcon it a bit, how did you feel about Ankh just deciding? Yeah. To like that, Athea. Or just seeing Athea. Like, oh, I, I think, like yeah, I think there's definitely this. Well, what's funny is I didn't think about how Penance felt about seeing Athea. What I had been thinking was that when, when Cherry Blossom went to take care of the timekeeper, there was this like oh, gut reaction where yeah. Penance wanted to be like, no, but didn't, you know, because Penance has this. Um, unknown subconscious attachment to the timekeeper. Mm -hmm. oh, well, we'll just, I'll, take, I'll take one. I yeah. don't think it happened yeah. more than once. I think the timekeeper oh being the new, uh, the new uh, facet of your obsession is makes total sense. It was a oh, thing. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like now it's the timekeeper because you're remembering making him. And it's been the yeah. child at times, right? Like it was the child, then it was the thing. Yes. And it was that time. Like there's always something there's that always you something missing yeah. and you're fixating on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh man. Oh, Our oh, okay. Okay. Onk. Onky Ponky. Uh, <laughs> what's what's up with Onk? Um, you address a challenge with knowledge and arcane power. Yeah, I think I did that twice. I think oh, I yeah. did it both when I. Um, There's a ghost uh, sword, the ghost key. Yeah, I, when I figured out how to like undo, you know, what, what we need to do to unravel a ritual. The contract. The yeah. contract, communing with the forgotten god, and yes, summoning my mother's the sword of my mother's ghost. Yeah, feels like so feels like that's a twofer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You express your drives, please. Heritage or background? Um, yeah. yeah, I think I got a lot of my background in the form of baby onk, just saying shit from like we learned about onk's upbringing. Um, uh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. And the ghost sword, and yeah. um, and I think also her beliefs came into question um yeah. So yeah i'm gonna take two for that uh you struggled with issues from your vice traumas uh yes i was i had to be cold thank you thank you for for forcing me into that one Kristen. um cold is one of my traumas and nice. i definitely was like yeah fine these things these whatever these people gotta go i know it's weird to say i suffered from my trauma because but this is one of those one cases where Ankh was like actually trying to care, and then it's yeah. like, nope, I don't get to. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't have the luxury of. I don't have the luxury of being kind right now. Right. Um, we just got to destroy this thing. And as soon as you said that, it was just like, yeah, we're, yeah. we're, we're doing it. Um, I don't think. Uh, I think I want to take another one because the fact that I trauma out and yep. became obsessed is also me. what let Athea. That is the cause of the. They are sneaking out. That's the cause of the demon me appearing. I think all of those things are related to my new trauma of being haunted. Mm -hmm. um, that sounds. Oh yeah, for sure. Sounds, sounds good to you all. I all like right. how I'm agreeing, but I'm not the GM. I'm like, oh yeah, it's, do that. No, it's, it's not the GM's call. It's the player's call. It's yeah, it's yeah. literally oh, right, right, right. It's yeah. literally. Right, right. The, I mean, we all should have. We should all decide on it. But it's. I like that we do too. But you're right. Thing. Yeah. Um, groovy, and then the rusted lock. All right. Did we advance the agenda of our deity or embody its precepts in action? Yeah, I feel like gaining more knowledge, right, about all this ritual of magic hoo ha. Yeah, mm -hmm. the ritual stuff. We could take one for that. Yeah. I also think that, um, 
despite my despite my interests, the like feeding the god to make it more powerful so that I can once command it. Like Yeah, that really helps your yeah. I, I feel like your I feel deity. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take two for that then I think. Do we contend with challenges above our current station? Oh yeah, I like so. the entire time. I mean the timekeeper. Well, did, we can. I think we contended with the timekeeper. We had to keep fleeing from him. Oh I yeah, think, yeah. I think the um, the uh, the spectral mass was was beyond our. I mean, we needed a tier five contraption just to do anything about it. Oh yeah, yeah 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 for sure. All right, I'm taking two for that as well. Do we bolster our crew's reputation or develop a new one? I don't know. I don't know. What's our rep? Ambitious, daring, and infernal. Oh, I forgot about infernal. I mean, we were daring. I mm -hmm. feel like anytime we take on the time, we came, you know, into Lady Arabella's territory. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I just wonder I if people know daring. that. Like, is that? I don't like, know that people know that. Yeah. yeah. I think the one downside of not getting a lot of heat is also that, like. Yeah, that's, that's right. Lot, I don't feel like there's a lot of recognition. That's that. true. Yeah. yeah. That's a good point. I like that narrative. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. um, do we express the goals, drives, or inner conflict with essential <laughs> We like, always hit this really hard. We do. Yeah. We really do. I feel like we're always asking ourselves, is this what we're about? Yes, this is what we're about. Or no, this is not what we're about. I feel like we're always asking ourselves, like, what is it we do? What so I think that's two for that. I think that's two. All right. So that means we leveled up our um, – we leveled up. We're going to get a crew ability. We're going to get four coin in our, in our, each of our respective stashes. Cool. Um, I'll put it in uh, yours. So our lifestyle is almost at three, which is pretty cool. Um, where's Ankh? There she is. Um, all right. And that's all the XP stuff. Nice. Cool. Shall we uh, do our outros and, and say adieu? Yeah. Next time? We'll pick back up next time in downtime. We still have not figured out at all how Onk. I like know. Like how one quarter of Onk's ghost plus all of six-year-old Onk is going to get. Yeah. We'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I should take like level three harm of like ghostied. I don't know. But we'll, we'll yeah. work it out. I, we'll, I don't work think... it out. we'll work it out. We'll, yeah. We'll, yeah. We'll it's going to be hard to forget. That yeah. you don't have a body. <laughs> if I'm just playing a six year old now or a ghost or both. I'll, I'll, I'll build oh, you a ball. I will I will look up because Misha uh created a playbook about being a child. I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look it up just in case nice. it fits. Anyway, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Nice. Uh cool. Well let's 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 say adieu. Um everybody, thank you so much for watching. This was a blast. I love, love, love playing this game. Ray and Kristen are just like my favorite humans. And this is one of my favorite worlds. And you can see Kristen right right in front of the the, the canonical blade in the dark um, in, in her background. And it's worth noting that it is today is John Harper's birthday. So I think there could be no better way to celebrate John's birthday than to play Blades. Um, so anyhow, I'm, I'm delighted about that. Uh, happy birthday, John. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, John. Anywho, I'm Sean. You can find me everywhere, including now on Mastodon at Sean Nittner. The thing that I am hyping right now is Improv for Gamers, which is a Improv for Gamers second edition, mind you, which is a whole bunch of exercises, over 35 exercises um, on practicing active listening skills, on character building, on relationship building. There's just tons and tons of good advice in this. And this version has... Um, this version has 50% more than the first edition did. It's got lots of contributions from a ton of other uh, improvisers and gamers. Uh, really, really good stuff. And it's got about a week more uh, in its uh, in its um, uh, crowdfunding. So we're still, there's still some such goals we'd love to hit. So if you are interested in improving your game and skills ors, I recommend it. And the second thing I'm going to hype is Big Bad Online, which is happening May 6th and 7th. Uh, these lovely folks are both going to be in a panel. In fact, they're in a panel together. Um, uh, and uh, it's a free event to attend. Uh, however, we are looking both for donations to help us um, 
pay all the speakers and put it on and also for volunteers to help run all the things behind the scenes. So if you're interested in attending, great, go there. If you're interested in helping out, great, go to that link as well. It'll have the other links to go do all the other things. So that's all my stuff. How about you, Kristen? Hi, I'm Kristen. Um, yes, this game is so fun. I always, always look forward to it and I'm glad we got to hang out and, uh, cause more trauma that's just what i look forward to <laughs> trouble it's very and cathartic yeah. trouble it's very cathartic. It's very cathartic uh you can find me on twitter and instagram at kristen is no jedi you can also find the games that i design at dice up games that's also we're also on drive through and itch um or you can check out our website follow us on twitter at dice up games uh, I have lots of cool stuff if you want to check it out, but I do want to piggyback on what Sean said. Um, Big Bad Online is going to be amazing. Please attend. Please kick some funds over to um, the cause or boost it, whatever you can do. Uh, I really, really look forward to speaking at, with Ray. I'm so excited for us to talk. And I'm also really looking forward to seeing the other folks that are going to be on panels um, big bad, really, really the folks that really work hard to create such a fun, accepting, safe space. And the energy is indescribable. And I highly, highly suggest that you support it. It's amazing. Uh, of course. Um, I'm just speaking facts over here. Uh, that's it for me, Ray. I'll kick it to you. Hi, so I was your lovely GM full of devil bargains and NBCs. Uh, but yeah, my pronouns are he, they. You can find me on, now I have a fancy semi-website. It's like half a website, www.swordqueengames.com. Uh, I mostly put it up so that I can have a space for a blog. Uh, yeah, and aside from that, I want to hype up our haunt, which people have been getting copies of, which is very cool. So you can check that out at Possum Creek Games if you want a physical copy, and which I highly recommend. The art is like really phenomenal. The art is very nice. I was just, yeah. where did I put my, I think it's by my bed because I was reading it at night. I was reading oh, it at the bed. But, perfect time um, to read. Very sp spooky and sweet at the same time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like Habil really just like nailed that that vibe so perfectly with the watercolors. Just really beautiful. Um, yeah, and yes, I will be uh, a part of like many awesome people. I'll be part of Big Bad Online, which I'm really excited about. I'm doing a panel with Kristen. I'm also doing one with Josh. So it's going to be very, very cool. It'd be cool if we could hang out. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And so I'm looking forward to our next game, everybody. It's going to be a wild time, I think. <laughs> yes, yeah, it'll be fun to see what is the next step. <laughs> what we do from here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my gosh. All right, friends. Well, thanks everybody in chat, uh, and uh, we'll see you all soon. I think Hut Cartel is tomorrow, so more, more Ooh. games on the horizon. Ooh, nice. Yeah, nice, 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 nice. Right. Thanks for all. hanging out, chat. Bye. <laughs>